Hey all you people, and welcome in to Mega Man Star Force. This is by far one of my favorite game trilogies of all time. It rivals it rivals Sly, I think, because Sly, after all, is only a trilogy. There is not any fourth game that was ever made that is questionable. <laughs> But yes, the Mega Man Star Force series, one of my favorite trilogies. We are going to go through and play through the entire trilogy, starting off with Mega Man Star Force Pegasus. What time do you start? <laughs> oh, which screen do I need on top and bottom? Oh, is your twenty twenty two zero X? It is the year 220X. Extraterrestrial life has been discovered. The new space exploration agency, NASA, in an effort to enter into a friendly relationship or brother band with the aliens, launched a space station named Peace. Man's dream to find other intelligent life among the stars has finally been realized. However, the space station, the hope of man, met with a mysterious accident and it disappeared to whereabouts unknown. Are we sure it just wasn't, like, destroyed? Of course, many people worked hard to find it, but the space station could not be found. And then, a few months after the incident, a, se a section of peace was found in, in the sea. Okay. All hope was lost after that. NASA took it hard and stopped the search and put the project on hold permanently. Three years to the day have passed since. since. That was incredibly hard to read for no reason at all, for some reason. Okay, we're still on bottom screen. I can't believe it's already been three years since Kelvin's space station vanished. Hmm, I suppose it has. Oh, I wanted to ask you about how he's doing. He's in fifth grade now, right? He would be, but he still can't bear to go. Ever since that incident, he, he's been very close towards everyone. I don't blame him. The boy lost his father, who he loved dearly. That's gotta be tough. But if he's not going, what about his studies? We're managing with the card force system. He's studying from one of the textbook type cards, Navi, Teacher Man. But he's not really focusing. He fiddles with gadgets or reads about stars. He wants to move to outer space and find his dad. Oh, I see. If only we had more power, we could have found... Aaron, it's okay. It's not your fault. It was an accident. That is not the face of an accident. <laughs> or not, I guess not the, like, not the, the dot 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 is not an accident. <laughs> Come here and say hello, young man. Fine. <clears throat> this man is Mr. Boreal. He worked under, under your dad at NASA. Howdy. Hey. I really owe him one for, from when I worked at NASA. That was one brave man, your father. Oh yeah, I quit NASA a while back, and now I work at my own lab just outside of town, researching the Earth, space, and the stars. If you want, you're welcome to drop by. Um, don't be rude. Introduce yourself. Uh, um, okay. How does he not know this kid's name? I need to figure out how to do hotkeys on OBS to switch these. Anyway... The English name of him is Geostellar. We are sticking with Geostellar. We're not changing anything. Um. Oh. Oh, that, that's gonna be annoying to deal with if I click to change scenes. Okay, yeah, I need to figure out a hotkey to just swap the OBS scenes. My name is Geostellar. 
Nice to meet you, Geostellar. <laughs> oh, before I forget, I brought you a present. This is a very special pair of glasses. It's called a visualizer. I heard your father used it in his work, but I don't know much else beyond that. I found it when I quit NASA, and I just thought I'd give it to you. Geo got the visualizer. This was Dad's. Thanks. Are you heading to your usual spot? Yeah, it's going to be clear out tonight, so I'll be able to see the stars really well. Geo, your transfer isn't on. Oh. Geo turned on his transfer. Oh, shoot. I, I meant to swap back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honestly, why must I always remind you to keep your transfer on? Now check your battle cards. Your brothers? Who cares? I don't have any brothers, so no one is going to see my personal page anyway. Dang. What are you talking about? If your transfer isn't on, no one can see your ID info either. Okay, I get it. I'm going now. Be back in a bit. <clears throat> He's always like that. I wish he could develop a few brother band relationships with some friends. And by the way, where's Geo headed off to? This Vista Point just behind the school. He goes there every day around dusk and just stares up at the sky. He thinks he'll see his dad. <laughs> Ever since that day, time has come to a stop for us anyway. I know we should move on, but it's so hard. All the dot dot dots make him seem so guilty. Looks like I just got some mail. Let me see, I can check my mail by pressing the X button to open the menu and then picking email. That's uh, email. Class review. This week we studied about transers. Transers are the mobile terminals everybody wears on their arms. They have a variety of functions such as email and phone. They also store your personal page and other info. By pushing select you can switch between the different screens of your transer to display such things as your personal card. This is on the small screen, isn't it? Yep, okay. We'll figure that out for next time, uh, how, to, how to swap. <laughs> um, if, you, if your transfer is displaying a Navi card, it means that your that Navi is currently in your transfer. If you swipe a Navi card through your transfer, you will activate an incredible power. There are people that help. Uh, what we have one out of three satellites. We have Pegasus. Um, okay. Anyway. Yeah, I need to figure out a hotkey to swap those back and forth easier, so that I don't have to. So I can just push a button. Anyway. On, oh. I know this map way too well. You there! Wait! Bum 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 bum. You're the one, aren't you? The boy who never comes to school. I'm Luna Platz of Echo Elementary, Class 5A, which mean, makes me your class president. The big guy behind me is Bud Bison, the short one is Zach Temple. Hey, jerk, don't just stand there, say something. The prez is waiting for a response. What do you want? Nothing. But it's my job as class presidency that all of my classmates attend school. What? I hate it when things are not perfect, so having one person missing is unforgivable. Sorry, but I've got nothing to do with you. <laughs> I really expect him to just walk off. Hey, you can't say that to the prez. How dare you? The prez is telling you to go to school. Don't look down on us because you're taller. <laughs> <laughs> but, Zach, that's enough. In any case, Geo, I expect to see you at school tomorrow. Look, there we go, now he's walking off, okay. It's been a minute since I played Pegasus, it's probably like three or four years. Geo Stellar, something tells me he won't be showing up. If only we had some way to open him up. Hmm, today's brother band lesson was, yes, that may come in handy. Come on, you two, let's get going. This is a long intro to a game. It's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> At least recording-wise, I've been recording for 10 minutes. I don't know how long I had messing up before we actually started. School, huh? Oh, shoot. <laughs> wonder who it's from. Ugh, it's from the Prez. Hi, Geo. It's your class president, Luna Platz. 
I didn't like your attitude, but I can forgive you if you come to school. We have some other band homework today. I've attached a new version of the Brother Band program we use in class, so make sure you do your homework. Oh, and one more thing. Come to school. Now initializing. Personal page editor. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to skip by this for y'all because it is multiplayer stuff and we do not have friends. Oh wait, never mind, no, never mind. Okay, so, makes a brother. I'm not, I'm not explaining brother band, I will explain it. it, is just like a connection that gives, eh, fine, I'll explain it. You do? I thought everyone knew about brother bands. Hold on, we're flipping, there we go. Well, whatever. Brother Band is a system that connects friends together through EM waves. Once you become brothers, you can send mail and trade data no matter where you are, and also see each other's pages. What's a personal page? Why your profile and battle cards? If you're going to have brothers, you're gonna need a personal page. We're gonna make you one. Yeah, we got it. Okay, personal page. So you can set your own message. You can see your brother info. You have the name, face, yada yada. Okay, so we have our fave cards, we have our best combo, and our link abilities. Favorites is where we set six cards. Um, let's see. Link abilities are powers that... Yep, we're okay. Lastly, let's look at the upper right. Message in secret. Anybody can see a message. And only friends can have secrets. Alright, I'm gonna write this message and then I'll be back. Alright, I think that's a great message. Uh, Anyway, this is a good chance to remind everybody. <laughs> Next is secret. Secret is where you write your secret message. You can only tell your brothers that. And our secret is also filled in. There we go. <laughs> Congrats on creating your personal page. If you have a brother, you'll always be connected no matter where or when. It's neat. So hurry up, make some brothers. Oh, one more thing. If you have real friends and you want to make brother bands, you can only become real brothers with three people. But if one day you achieve something great, then that number can grow. Your brothers can change their info day by day, so it's good to trade info on the on-air selection. If we're on-air at the same time, that's also good. Alright, so that is the multiplayer aspect of it. But, come to school. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, shoot. Uh. I presume that that mail is just for re-explaining it. Yeah, okay, I'm not... Gonna go through that now. <laughs> we are instead going up to Vista Point. <coughs> the stars were just beginning to twinkle as Geo turned his eyes to the heavens. I was not prepared that quickly. Dad, Cassiopeia is so bright tonight. Oh, and today this man named Mr. Boreal came to our house. He gave me your visualizer. He's got some sort of special lens. It feels like it has a special power, but what can I see with it? If I use it, will I see you? Aww. <gasps> Who am I kidding? Dad, where are you? I miss you so much. Dad. Wing, 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 wing. What? Th this is Dad's access signal. <laughs> it's getting closer and closer. <laughs> oh. Ah! So this is Earth. <laughs> oh, ah! What? You can see me? That's funny. Humans aren't supposed to see, be able to see energy beings like me. Are you a monster? Why, why are there roads in the sky? That's not the Milky Way, that's for sure. Am I dreaming? Nope, bye. It disappeared. It is back! <laughs> Almost word for word. <laughs> now I get it. You can see my EM body with those glasses, but, but I didn't see a thing earlier. Hmm, that must have activated some hidden power of those glasses when I zapped them. Hey, didn't anyone tell you not to gawk? But I guess I can't blame you, kid. Who are you? The name's Omega Zis. I Omega Zis? I don't... How have I, how have I always pronounced it? Omega Zis. I think that's how I've always pronounced it. But humans get it all wrong, so just call me Mega. Okay, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Mega. <laughs> I'm 
I'm from Planet FM, so I'm what you humans call an alien, I guess. But to me, you guys are the real aliens. Normally, you humans can't see my EM body, which is made of electromagnetic waves. Gee, I wonder what EM meant. <laughs> but somehow, I guess with those glasses, you can see the wave world. And that road you see in the sky is part of the ra wave world. A ra wave road. Ugh. You got all that? Why does an alien know my name? I heard it from a human I met in space. That human? Could it be? Was it my dad? Dad, where is he? Whoa! They're here already? They're here? Who's here? The creeps were after me. That's who, kid. Oh. Oh no. Bum -bum. What the? That train's not supposed to be able to move. EM viruses from Planet FM. They're going to destroy the town with that. What? If they did that, it'd be a disaster. Plus, my mom's still at home. <laughs> There's only one way to stop that train. Go into and delete the EM viruses. Delete those viruses. Wow. Like this. Ah. The music in this game also slaps. Now listen up, kid. You want to stop that train, you do what I say. Got it? You humans have those card force things, right? Take out one of your blank cards. Blank card. Okay, here we go. Ha! Wow. The card's glowing. What's he doing? I'm powering up the card with my energy. Look, we don't have much time. Next, we gotta find a wave hole. A wave hole? Where a chunk of space has been warped into a whirlpool shape. I bet you can see them with your glasses on. Space has been warped with a whirlpool. No. Yes. Hey, I see one. You don't need to wear your visualizer for this next part, but swipe the card I made when you're at the wave hole. You know how to swipe a card, right? Of course, I just press the R button. You gotta yell, EM wave change, geostellar on the air. Uh, okay. Oh, and I guess I should tell you, kid, push the Y button to put on your visualizer. That way you can see the wave world. Alright. So, uh, real quick, because this has been a very talky episode. Uh, hold on. EM wave change, geostellar on the air. But um. As well, okay, uh, this has been a really, really talky episode. I am treating this as a prologue episode from after this episode. Uh, hold on, where are we? I'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> what is with this getup in, in my hands? Hey kid, quit screaming like a girl. This is the wave world. You fused with me, so now you're in the wave form. Fused? You mean you and me, we became one? And I'm a wave thingy now? You got me pulling my leg. Change me back right now. Don't get cold feet now. I need your power to stop the environment. But I don't have any power. It's a bit complicated, but for some reason I'm not as powerful on this planet as usually I am on FM. I need to fuse with someone here. When we're fused like the when we're fused like this, you take on waveforms it's called pulse in, and you pulse out to go back to the real world. When you want to pulse out, press the R button. But don't you try pulsing out right now. Just tell me why you can use my power, so that means we are going to kick some butt. So take the wave world to the train to enter the space and fight the viruses. I'm, I'm not. I can't fight. I don't know how to fight. Oh, stop whiting! It's the only way to stop that train. I'll teach you how to fight. Just get inside it. All right. All right. Now we need to walk over there. So in theory, I have a minute. Uh, for future episodes, I am going to heavily edit this because effectively it does operate kind of like Pokemon with tons and tons of wild encounters. Uh, so I don't want you guys to have to sit through that, but for at least, like, story points, I don't want to edit all that much, or I don't want to edit all that much so you can get the story, if that makes sense. Um, well, this is as close as I can get, so now what? That's the train! That's the screen, or I mean train! <laughs> Our body is a bunch of waves. If there's calm space receptive, we can get in. You see that whirlpool that's flashing? That means we can go in. Right. Okay. Wow, always remember, kid, this is how we FM is jump into the comm spaces. Okay, almost there. Now, I can't remember if fighting is on the top screen or bottom screen in this game. I really hope it's on the bottom screen, but I have a funny feeling it's going to be on the top. 
Where are we? This is the locomotive's comp space. In other words, we're inside the train's comp. Those EM viruses have got to be around somewhere, so let's find them and give them, a, give it to them good. Um, but yeah, so I know this episode is, is long and very unedited. Uh, that will not be the case in the future. As I said in my update video, I do want to be editing more and making things more palatable, and this is probably not going to be most palatable if it, every episode is exactly like this one, where I am sitting around talking for 20 minutes and reading text. <laughs> we need to have actual combat and stuff. There they are. Goal. Oh. You want me to beat them? I think they're going to do the beating here. I told you, I'm going to teach you how to fight. You have to. You aren't going home. Your old man sure wasn't a wuss like you. <laughs> Damn. That is twice I have cursed tonight in episodes without thinking about it. In Meta, in Mega, we'll also think about it. This is kind of scary. Save your whining for afterwards. Just do what I say. <laughs> it's gonna be on the top. Screen. Yep, it's on the top screen. Cool. So the bottom is card selection. Oh right. The bottom is card selection. Um, I'm just gonna skip past this. Basically, we can pick in the same column, but not the same row. In this game, at least. And if they are the same card, they can be picked. Alright. Alright, cool. So we now have two cards. We have two cannons that show up down there. Do do do. We have hit points. Um, if we just want to do random damage, then we can press B, and I can move. If that fills up, we get more cards. Uh, I can move left and right. If you ever played Battle Network, it's a very simplified Battle Network. Where it's only one directional, you don't have to worry about your own direction besides horizontally. Oops. That is going to be so annoying. I need to figure out a hotkey. Okay, we got... We got another one! No! <laughs> okay. White cards. So white cards can be selected no matter where they are. But, like, that attack plus 10 we don't want to select before we select a fighting card, because then we just waste it. Um... Okay, I think we have to do that. Yeah, so. Swords only attack one square, but we can press it down to... Alright. Yeah, we can press down to move up and get really close to them, effectively. I'm not switching screens, because there's going to be one more. <gasps> Next wave is, is it, kid. Let's get it done. Okay. Countering and bonus... I just countered. It will stun them and we get a bonus card. So. So I do this. We do that. We get a free cannon. Oh, shoot. I went a bit late on that one, but that's okay. <laughs> I tend not to use cannons because they are slow um, when I get to make my own decks. We won! You did better than I expected. You caught my interest. Think I'll hang around for a little bit longer. How would you like that? A little longer? No! <laughs> Getting roped into something like that again. Oh, then you want to hear about your dad? Your dead dad then? So messed up. I played this game when I was like eight. This is so, I, <laughs> it's so, so messed up. Oh, <clears throat> move the train back. What the? And then returned home. But alien, will you really tell me about my dad? Anyway. 
I, we're gonna watch this because I think I get to chill for a sec after it, and then we're gonna be done for the day because <laughs> this is already getting long and there's going to be very very few cuts. Geo, I'm leaving for my part time job. That's such a. Do people specify that? I don't want to push you, but maybe you should try going to school again. I think you need to make some friends. Well, I'm off to work. She walks so slow. School, huh? Oh, it's friends, huh, this time. <laughs> Why don't you go to school? If I win, I might make some friends. So you're saying you don't want to go to school because you don't want to make friends. I heard humans valued friends and brother bands, or is that just hearsay? You don't know what it's like to lose someone. You really believe that? Whatever, I guess even among humans there are sad and bitter ones like you. All of a sudden, Earthlings are much more interesting. Hey Gia, let's go check out your town. I want to see what other kinds of people are here. Oh, do we want to do that? Besides, I don't like talking to people. Quit dragging your feet and get out there. <laughs> I forgot that you could just yeah, eat his arm. Alright, yeah. That is where we are ending today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I promise in the future it's not going to be as dense as this one was, because this was just dense, dense. But, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh... Remember to listen to the message on our friend's screen or whatever. Am I able to... Oh. Okay, I don't think I can pop that up. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.